All right, and the final core concept we'll be talking about today is VPNs. You'll hear a lot about VPNs again when talking about the dark web, and that's because VPNs usually are a go-to for protecting your internet data. So what is a VPN? Well, VPN stands for a virtual private network, and it securely connects you to others with privacy. It keeps data from hackers, government censorship, and other dangers of the internet, and helps you get access to block content, uh, usually by location. However, it's very insecure. Um, you shouldn't use VPNs when participating in illicit activities, and that's because a VPN, for the most part, does keep records of what you're doing, and if someone was to ask for those records, uh, they aren't going to risk legal problems or uh, getting shut down just for your information. Uh, so they're not really great to use with Tor because they do keep a record of what, where you go for the most part. Some of them don't, and the ones that don't are actually secure and good to use, but the ones that do keep a record are not secure and good to use. So generally, a VPN works something like this. Uh, instead of connecting directly to Facebook, uh, you would connect to your VPN first and then to Facebook. Uh, this would help you if Facebook was, safe blocked in your country. Uh, you would connect to a VPN in a country where Facebook isn't blocked, and then it would connect you to Facebook. So hopefully you have a better understanding of VPNs, networks, and all of that good stuff. Uh, this is the end of section one. So be sure to go back and review any video that maybe you were a little shaky on or any information that you didn't really understand. In the next module, it's time we get hands-on with Tor. We'll be downloading the program and taking a look at the dark web for real uh, instead of just talking about it.